Some new information today about an alleged standoff last night between Pensacola police and a man wanted for violating his probation. Hannah McKenzie is live with those details. Hannah? Ernie Reed was taken into custody last night, and according to Pensacola police, their officers were there assisting U.S. Marshals. But Reed's family tell me things just aren't adding up. The corner of Godfrey and K Streets illuminated with police lights Wednesday. I'm like, it's going down around here because <laughs> they're setting a perimeter. Kimberly Bradley says she didn't realize it was her house they were surrounding. No one knocked on my door. No one called my cell phone, his cell phone, my house phone. No one actually say, hey, you know, we need for you guys to come out. Officer Mike Wood disagrees. The officers were out there. They attempted to make contact and no one would come to the door. No one would come outside. Wood says Pensacola police were assisting U.S. Marshals, serving a warrant for Aaron e. Reed. The charge? Violation of probation. Why the SWAT, the lights, the siren just for a POV? Because he has a violent past. Bradley, Reed's girlfriend, isn't buying it. After the standoff, which ended without incident, she was taken to the station and questioned by a detective. He's like asking questions and he says, well, you know, this goes beyond everything. It's um, in reference to a homicide. Oh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I plead the fifth. He says, can you recall his whereabouts Friday night? Which made us think about a homicide early Saturday on Gadsden Street. If he has anything to do with any other investigation, I'm not uh, able to comment on that at this point. The victim, 26-year-old James Beasley, has the same last name as Reed's mother, Jessie. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about any homicide. Now, obviously, your son has a rap sheet. I mean, he's been in prison. He's been in jail. Do you think he's capable of murdering someone? No. No. Bradley says this whole thing is fishy. She says there was no standoff, no negotiations, and no warrant when police later entered her home. Wood says officers followed protocol. They have to clear the scene following a standoff situation. If they believe that there's something else in there that they want, then they will stop and they will go get a warrant for that. And that's what happened just after we left. At last check, Reed is not booked into Escambia or Santa Rosa County jails. I'm told that's because he's currently in the custody of U.S. Marshals. We will keep you updated on this developing story. Live in the studio, Hannah McKenzie.